My name is Ratsuni and it's time to get mad cursed here in Slave the Spire because we have the daily challenge for January the 10th of 2020. We are the character the Silent with the modifiers Cursed Run, Hoarder, and Terminal. Whenever you defeat a boss become cursed, your starting relic is replaced with the Cursed Key, Darkstone Periat, and Duvu Doll. That's going to become important. Whenever you add a card to your deck in Hoarder, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant and Terminal whenever you enter a room, a new room that is. Uh, lose one max HP, start each combat with five plated armor. Now, why is this run going to be incredible? Hoarder and Cursed run together mean that your max HP becomes insane because you add three curses at a time using the Darkstone Periat. And because of the Cursed Key and Duvu Doll, you end up with a ridiculous amount of curses regardless. Also, defeating a boss gives you three curses. That's three strength. This is going to be incredible. We're just going to pick up aggressive options almost exclusively. And curses, obviously. So I'm looking for question mark spaces and... Ooh, extra elite, though. So I can either have three question marks, two elites, four question marks, two elites, one midline rest, one midline merchant, or... Two question marks, one early shop, and one late rest, but three elite. So it's an elite for worst positioning of our shop and rest, as well as two unknowns. There's a lot of ways to get curses from your question marks on the first floor. I'm going to pass up an elite and go for this position, actually. Very, very, very rare that I actually decide to do that, but... Seems like the right idea to me right now. Gotta say, I'm also a huge fan of having terminal for the extra five-plated armor. In fact, the loss of max HP isn't really going to affect us as a result of the Darkstone Periat. Uh, I'll take Heal Hook because it might just be a free attack for us. It's not a curse. That is, though. We got three copies of Regret, got Pocket Watch whenever you play three or less cards in a turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn, as well as three triggers for that Duvu doll. This is going to be uh, bad uh, early on, at least. Ouch. <laughs> I, I have some feelings about having taken those items. Ooh, Cloak and Dagger. Okay. Yeah, helps us defend while we also get the aggression out. Neat. Yeah, I have some feelings about having taken those curses. I, I, like, almost... It's something that I wish I hadn't done. Ah, there's a better way to express that, I'm certain. Mercury Hourglass. At the start of your turn, deal three additional damage to all enemies. Perfect. We managed to get two curses and two relics from the question marks that we hit. I, frankly, feel like I chose correctly. Past that, get the bigger draw this turn. Oh, if only I had the enemy weakened. Oh. Yeah, fine. Definitely time to start the attacks. This is the thing. I am going to need other cards in my deck to dilute all of these curses that I keep putting in. Ooh. Cloak and dagger, cloak and dagger, cloak and dagger. You can see why cloak and dagger was such a premium pickup for me. Thank you. The boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as dagger spray. Dagger spray hits its damage twice. So benefits twice from the strength that we have. Like there, it does 20 damage by itself. In AoE, mind. That would hit more people. Were there any more people to hit? Acrobatics is actually pretty good as draw here. We have the extra energy from the Cursed Key, and it helps us to discard curses that we uh, might otherwise be holding. Uh, I also really want the Neutralize upgrades so that the heal hooks are more effective. But, mm, yeah, actually, probably that's still probably the best. Oh, Memori, negate the next curses you obtain. How about no, Memori? How about no, Memori? What do you mean that was a tacked-on joke after the fact? <laughs> I was planning it the whole time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh! Toxic Egg. Whenever you add a skill card to your deck, upgrade it. 
We have to take that. The reason we have to take that is now every single Shiv card in the game is broken. Good fight. Alchemize will ruin my Pauper's bonus by getting a rare card. I don't necessarily want to do that. I could take Expertise, like a pre-upgraded Expertise. Yeah, it's just decent enough draw. You can see why we're going only aggression with this build as well, right? Preserved Insect, enemy in the League Combat have 25% less HP. That's another Dagger Spray over the backflip and over the distraction, definitely. The AoE next floor, like the needs for AoE next floor are immense. Like, heck, I got that kill because those regrets were going to make me, uh, like, not feel too good about, hmm, like, something that just occurred. I have guilt, I guess? Yeah, let's say guilt. Uh, leg sweep is incredible. It gives us the weakness and the block that we desperately want. Eh, it gives us the weakness we desperately want. And there's also some block. You only need one leg sweep in a hand for it to be incredible. The thing is, backstab, right? And if I take the backstabs, I just blow enemies up on turn one. I'm going to take the backstabs. Only because backstabs are so damn important. For just killing on turn one. I'm almost sad this is the case. Draw three cards, discard one. Oof. Yeah. You know what? I have Dagger Sprays in the deck. I probably don't need to throw that. There we go. <laughs> Knew it was coming. Burst, Phantasmal Killer Malaise. Probably none of these again. Yeah, they'll screw up the bonuses I'm going for. Ooh. Hovering Kite. The first time you discard a card... E oh, that got changed. Uh, so Hovering Kite. The first time you discard a card each turn, gain an energy. That's really good now. I actually like that a lot. I would very much like to play a silent discard build with this Hovering Kite. However, obviously we go with the Calling Bell. Upon pick up, obtain a unique curse and three relics. You get three copies of that curse, which is three more strength. Ceramic Fish, whenever you add cards to your deck, gain nine gold. Uh, you're just going to give me 27 gold every time I take a card. Singing Bowl, I'm no, never going to have to, never going to actually have time to use that here. And the Turnip, you can no longer become frail. Oh, max HP is going to be incredible. Basically, how many collector's bonuses can I get is, is what this run ultimately will turn into. Uh, I'm going to take that relatively early shop right there. Sucker Punch. Yeah, I'll take three copies of Sucker Punch. Um, weak Potion is, is, a, is in, uh, probably better than the Explosive Potion for us. Start of each combat, apply uh, four poison to all enemies. Hmm. I definitely want the Trips. I kind of want the Deflects as well. Should I take the dashes? Probably not the dashes. I'll save some money for later shops. Oh, come on, Necronomicon. Damn it. <laughs> Necronomicon would have given me three curses. <laughs> ah. That's all I care about. Curse me, game. Curse me. See, because I have all of the backstabs in my opening hand, even if my opening hand is... Oh my god, riddle with holes. <laughs> Even if my opening hand has basically nothing but curses, I'm guaranteed to at least have enough backstabs to likely kill a target on board. Frontliner dies next turn and I don't even get to take any damage. Oh. I love this run. <laughs> There's like no risk in it whatsoever, but I like the run. Uh, I'll take uh, three copies of Prepared, just for the Collector's bonus. That's that's all I care about right now. Because it feels like that's going to be the major frontier upon which people compete.
specimen. Whenever an enemy dies, transfer any poison it has to another enemy. Uh, acrobatics or prepared. Take the acrobatics. Both of them finished a collector's bonus for us, which is why it's fine to take one or the other. Uh, rest site? Do I have any reason to want to hit a rest site anymore? No. Go for an additional enemy instead. I love that enemies are weakened on turn one now, by the way. Just means my heal hooks are already valuable. Play dance. I'll take injury if I get the ability to pair it. Probably shouldn't. Yeah, there's injury. You know what? I'll also take skewer. I was about to say probably shouldn't take skewer, but I can't actually justify that. Eternal Feather. For every five cards in your deck, heal three HP whenever you're a rest site. Uh, yeah, we... We cannot die unless it's in a single fight at this rate, basically. Cloak and Dagger versus Prepared. Cloak and Daggers are all pre-upgraded, but so are the Prepareds. I'll take the Cloak and Dagger, because I think we still need a little bit more aggression. <laughs> I don't know how I can justify saying that, but it's apparently what I think. Cool. Yes, I could have retained that card in hand. No, it wasn't going to change anything about the fight, so I'm not going to bother. Matroshka, the next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics, as well as more backstabs. Which will increase the size of my opening hand, because I have more... Uh, I have more innate cards than the size of my opening hand, which is fine. Dang, lost the bet. Really wanted the extra money there. Rough fight. <laughs> uh, prepared. Cool. That's our collector's bonus there as well. Uh, another thing to do would be upgrading these backstabs. But honestly, I think it's going to be way more effective to upgrade the acrobatics. Oh my gosh. Envenom is the generated one? Perfect. Just start stacking up some poison there on turn one. So I can weaken the main line. That'll actually do it, right? It won't kill, but it'll weaken the main liner. I take no damage this turn, therefore I get to... Perfect the boss. I really want to actually draw and use a Riddle with Holes one of these days. <laughs> Seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll take the max HP here. Sneko, no. My opening hands become garbage. And honestly, like most of this does during boss and elite combats gain in the energy at the start of your turn you know i'm gonna take the black star at least drop an additional relic when defeated the reason i'm taking that is just because i think it might be necessary to get us to 25 relics on this floor and of course we have to get to 25 relics for i like shiny expertise that's another collector's bonus for us Probably time to start taking backflips, but those tacticians are really, really appealing just because of the amount of uh, prepareds and uh, acrobatics we have in the deck. But I don't have much to sink that energy into. We'll take the backstabs, uh, backstabs, backflips. I'm also going to drop the potion for the speed potion there. Done the red mask for a bunch of gold. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Take more colors cards. Three copies of Mind Blast. All right. <laughs> uh, Forethought? Panic Button. I'll take Panic Button because that's actually pretty good. I'll also take Forethought. It's fine. I get no more bonuses for having more max HP, so I may as well. I have a lot of normalities in the deck. In fact, I believe I have a collector's bonus of normalities now. Backflip, that's another collector's bonus. I get a shot right before the final elite as well. Oh, damn. Come on. <laughs> Almost got half of your HP down on that first turn. Almost. Trip, prepared to... 
discard both normalities. And now I use expertise. If this draws normality, I just don't get to play. <laughs> Those are the risks that we must take. Let's actually kill the transient. How about that? Uh, drop, um, let's drop that. And then I'll... Four thought those two to the bottom of the deck so I don't have to take any damage. Well, I mean, look. If you're going to give me one of the world's easiest turns, I'll take it. Thank you. Sucker punch. And then prepared. Yeah, just in case I got a normality. Uh, I'm also going to panic button twice. I'll forethought nothing and then backflip. That wasn't to empty my hand, honestly. It was mostly just to try and trigger the thousand cuts. Piercing whale. I'll take that just because it's common. I'm more likely to get more copies of it. That's my overkill bonus, although I probably already had it. Vajra, start each combat with one strength. Ooh, that's going to be super useful. Be nice to have one strength. Cloak and Dagger, that actually gets our collect... No, wait, does it get the collector's bonus? Oh, no, I had them sorted and obtained. I think I still have played correctly for that, but still. Ooh. Take him all Cloak and Daggers, I guess. Akebeko, the first attack each combat deals eight additional damage at the start of your second turn. Gave 14 block as well. Losing a single copy of skill because I didn't get an energy relic at either of my uh, places is probably the easiest way to do that. Let's take dodge and roll now. I hate that we keep getting off of these accuracies and I'm just not taking them, but oops. That's so cruel. Uh, expertise? Collector's bonus? No, I already have that. Yeah, I already have that. Uh, start going for the slice collector's bonus, I guess. Honestly, the swift potion's probably way more impactful for us. Uh, okay, well, mind blast, I guess. I'm gonna also take Orrery to try and get as many collector's bonuses. Okay, that could be dodge. That could be dagger throw. That's nothing so far. That's probably Tactician. Escape plan, yikes. None of these are actually great. Just taking the more common ones for the possibility of getting collector's bonuses with them later. Like, I guess after the next shop. After the next shop, after the next elite. Dagger throw. Flex. Take both of those relics. Not a single rare card in the deck, right? Good. Yeah, basically, I, I think our score is pretty much settled right now. Because our opening hand destroys everything. Play Dance! That is another collector's bonus for us. Beautiful. Um, I do have the Dreamcatcher, so I may as well rest, actually, here. Or another card. Unfortunately, none of them are collector's bonuses for us. Oh, well. And that's a good final fight right there. 18 minutes. Got another injury. We probably have most of our collector's bonuses on curses right now. 1860. Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, I was really hoping to have the impressive score. What am I missing here? So... I think because I accrued so much damage so early and because I had so many damage cards over like cycling cards in the deck and later because of the normalities, I wasn't really going to be able to get combo. Uh, we got 15 copies of Collector, not half bad. I think there were probably two copies of Collector overall that had I replayed the seed, I could... Or that if I replayed the seed, I wouldn't miss. Other than that, I'm really not seeing it. I think it's just collector's bonuses in it. 
10th. Yeah. Could have been better, could have been worse. Uh, could have been better at the absolute least, the tune of 39. For the moment, my name is Ron Rhapsody, the name of the game. has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.